Good evening, everybody. I'm Serge, the Daily Trader. It is January 11th, and we are going to take a look at the VIX, Dow Jones, S&P 500, and also Nasdaq. Let's start with the VIX. Uh, VIX is up uh, 0.5. That's 2.43%, closed at 2108. We seem to be bouncing. We seem to be bouncing on the support right here. So VIX, as a trend, is going up. We were not too sure. It did not really look that way recently because we had been into a mini downward channel like this. But the question still remains, is this downward channel finished or not? Because we are stopping here at the support. We don't have the conclusion yet. We know that we did not break the support. So that's the new information that we got today. But we don't know what are the next few candles going to give us? Are we going to climb a little bit like this? If so, then the stock market would be turning down. So the jury is still uh, out for that. And also tomorrow we have the CPI uh, report that is going to come out. So this is going to uh, impact the VIX for sure. So tomorrow is going to be a very interesting day. Let's look at Dow Jones. So what's happening with Dow Jones? Dow Jones is climbing up and we just got stochastic over 60. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We broke uh, resistance uh, three, four days ago. And we broke the next horizontal resistance in line. So we broke it today. Yeah, trend-wise, this should be going to 34.705 uh, unless we have something big for the CPI. What technical analysis does is looking at trend. But when you have a specific event happening on a specific date, then, you know, that can jeopardize the trend in itself. So far, the trend is uh, bullish because all of our criteria have been met. Break of downward resistance four days ago. Break of horizontal resistance uh, today. Stochastic over 60. This is good de-risking right there. Let's look at S&P 500. Uh, same thing for S&P. We get stochastic over 60. We had already the 3902 horizontal resistance broken. And basically, we are just uh, taking off for S&P 500. And uh, NASDAQ very close to getting S&P stochastic over 60. We are at 53, you know, 53. And we have a break of downward resistance right here. So it seems like the stock indices are uh, turning bullish. NASDAQ still has this big downward channel to think about, as does S&P 500. And Dow Jones only has a horizontal resistance in play. We see the indices wanting to go high, wanting to go high. The report tomorrow is either going to amplify this or make it turn around. So uh, maybe it's best to just wait for that information before committing any money. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing. If you like what I do, you can become a YouTube member. Click on my trading view affiliate link. I'm going to wish you a great evening. We are going to talk tomorrow and I'm going to tell you à la prochaine.